What's up, CBS Sports HQ YouTube fans? I'm Eric Casilius, and I'll be breaking down the AFC North division today with futures, picks, props, and more. Here we go. Yeah, Ravens, I'm Eric Casilius. You know, you can't spell Baltimore without ball. I mean, one L, but work with me here. And make no mistake about it, the Ravens ball. Double digit wins, three straight seasons, and this year, odds makers expect more of the same. 10 and a half, and I'm going over. And John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson, I trust. Their road games are all very, very winnable. I expect this team to get to 11 and 6 at least, if not more. I think there's value taking the over. You know, speaking of Lamar Jackson, seven rushing touchdowns last year, but interesting. None came inside the four-yard line. In fact, he didn't have a single carry inside the four. So he's not a touchdown stealer at the goal line from his running backs. And when you look at Baltimore, they've averaged 23 rushing touchdowns the last two years. So even if you give Lamar his seven, that's an awful lot left. And the quarterback doesn't steal the close ones. So with J.K. Dobbins out for the year, give me the Gus bus. I like him in fantasy. I love him in the props. His prop touchdown over there's no way he's not going to walk into double digit touchdowns. There's no way. The numbers just don't add up any other way. If he stays healthy, he's going to get 10. I don't like props over, but I like him over. Yeah, Gus. Yeah, Lamar. Yeah, Baltimore. Yes, yeah, Steelers. I'm Eric Casilius. Look, you know about Pittsburgh last year, right? Started 11 0. We had odds up. Are they going to go undefeated? And then thud. One and six down the stretch and lost to little brother Cleveland in the playoffs. And it was EGLY. You ain't got no alibi. But you know, Pittsburgh, they find a way to bounce back. 17 years without a losing season. Next most is nine. How about that? Yikes. Go Pittsburgh. Make your kids Steeler fans. Their over under right now is eight and a half. I, I kind of like the under. I liked it better at nine. It just dropped down to eight and a half, but I liked it better at nine. But I don't think they're going to get there. Um, they have the hardest schedule in the league, according to the metric. So I'm not really thrilled about the Steelers. Plus, they have an old quarterback. And my player prop for this team is going to be Ben Roethlisberger under 3,950 and a half passing yards. I worry about the health. I don't think he's going to be able to play 17 games. He had a monster quiet season with 33 touchdowns last year. Still only had 3,800 yards passing in 15 games. If he doesn't play all 17, there's no way he gets there. And if he does, that best of 50 50 that he gets there so I'll play against Roethlisberger playing 17 games and I'll do that in a big way fantasy wise look Najee Harris is tempting he's sexy I get it but he's going to go too early they have a terrible offensive line we've talked to our people in Pittsburgh and they're like it's bad and I don't like guys find bad offensive lines wide receivers too many mouths to feed Juju Chase Claypool Deontay Johnson now, if I'm going to play anybody, it'll be Deontay Johnson. In his last 16 games, Deontay Johnson, 111 receptions, 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns. In a PPR, I do like him, and I will play his prop over 975 and a half yards. But the other guys, eh, not thrilled. So, I will take Deontay Johnson in terms of the prop. I will bet against Ben Roethlisberger as a prop, and I'm going to let everybody else take the Jujus and the Chase Claypools and the Najee Harris. Good luck, Pittsburgh. Yes, yeah, Cincy. That's right. Bengals. Now, look, last year was another ugh, punch to the solar plexus. If you were a Bengal fan, your quarterback ripped up his knee. He went 4-11-1. And, and here's your shocking stat. For the 30th straight season, you didn't win a playoff game. That's right. 30 straight years without a playoff win. Longest in the NFL. This year, you're at six and a half. I'm going to stay away. It feels about right. It could be six wins, maybe seven and ten if it falls right. You'll know early when you look at the schedule, you know, we divide the season into quarters. I've been told this by more than one general manager. That first quarter, there you go. Vikings, Bears, at Steelers, Jacksonville. Winnable games. I mean, if you're 0-4 there, you're in real trouble. If you're 1-3, you got real trouble. But maybe you can get off to a good start and get going. Now, in terms of fantasy, I call it the Joe Mixon effect. When you have a really good player that's in a really bad spot, Every time I talk to a defensive player, I'm like, who's the guy? Who's the tough hombre you don't want to tackle? They're like, Mixon. Mixon's the underrated guy, but he's a bad offensive line, and I don't take good running backs with bad offensive lines too early. I don't want any part of that. Yikes. Um, I know Jamar Chase keeps dropping every pass his way, but he's going to be fine. But the prop I want to play is this. It almost seems wrong. T. Higgins under nine and a half touchdown receptions. What are we missing here? Why are we not running the window? Bet him under. He had six last year. Ten is a lot. 
and they have Jamar Chase, and they have Tyler Boyd, and they have other players, and they have Mixon. Under, 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 you'll be thrilled. Now, I do like Burrow, and he will put up yards. In fact, Burrow played 10 games last year, and in only 10 games, he set the Bengal franchise record. He tied it with five 300-yard games. I like Burrow, but I'll play against T. Higgins on the touchdowns. That is one of your best plays anywhere all year long. Yeah, Cleveland, I'm Eric Casillas. Look, you know Cleveland's a team I've always played against, right? They're a flash team. They're yappers. Not a lot of substance. But then last year I said, no, this is the year it sort of switches because they had a good offensive line and good defense. I believed, and I thank them for paying off with a very good 11-5 and season. What about this year? They're at 10.5. Man, that feels about right. I liked it better at 10. It just jumped to 10.5. I, I sort of will play the over, but this is a lean at best. That's not where I want to head. Uh, 10 and 11 wins feels about right. Schedule isn't bad. Should be favored in all nine home games. Look at the home games here. Texans, Bears, Broncos, Steelers, Cardinals, Lions. I mean, where, where's, the, where's the monster game at home? They should be favored in a lot of those home games, which is why I will lean over that 10 and a half despite the fact that it's a big number. All right, now. If you look at about Baker Mayfield's props, he's about 4,000 yards, 28 and a half touchdowns. That feels about right. But one guy does catch my eye on this team. Everything that I do and put into my computer spits out, Nick Chubb is going to have a monster, monster, monster year. I know he got hurt last year. He's only projected to miss one game on the injury bug report. He had 12 touchdowns in less than 12 games. I know he's better in non-PPR, but he's going to be great in any format. He is going to be a beast. He is my number four or five running back. I'm taking him way earlier than any of our guys. And he's number one in the NFL in yards after contact. And that includes Derrick Henry. Love him. And my player prop is going to be Nick Chubb to win the rushing title at plus 700. That is excellent value. Chubb, love him. Get him. Bet him. You'll be happy. You're welcome. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.